awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not a reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths, no? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! Daddy, let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Just uh, one more for the <coughs> road, sweetie. You never know. He might uh, have some hot gossip that I uh, need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumours, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? But I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff, it just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and their monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have walloped a lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and, well, I just hope she's all right. <sighs> she... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey. You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. 
we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's Bleeding Palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-coloured branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know Top End Gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself. Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <laughs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through.
Look at all these people. How marvellous. Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? This is the kingdom of the desert night, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Idrisil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Let Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age. And as such... No, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. This is Bond, his kingdom, his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong, un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Mm, yes, very good. The Knight's Pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> You are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. Stranger, and what brings you to Galopolis? Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. Ah, 
you came. Thank you. Hmm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. <clears throat> You should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. Walls have so many unwelcome ears. Uh, ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the Great Silvando! Gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvano will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> We must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. Now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable! Unthinkable! Huh. Huh? So you see, your coming here was fated! It is a sign! The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double! Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? 
Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also! For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view! Oh, please, please! I beg of you, you must help me! You must enter the Sun National in my place! You are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen! If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell! Friends! <laughs>